Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of Suicide Squad Isekai. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, damn. Uh oh, no. She ain't screwing with you. Your actual body is getting hurt. Girl, no, it's her body. Did you strike up her body? Like, neither one of them decided, oh, hey, let's just carry her, but not drag her. Honey. Yeah, just, I mean, damn, bridal carry her eyes.
N- not really. <laughs> Weekly Nana. Do not speak like that. You are not dying. Oh. Whenever my hand is dying. Damn. He dead now. Shit. 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 Did he just have a magical boy transforming? <laughs> Let's go. Right? Seriously?
everybody gets a piece. <laughs> Literally everybody is getting their magical point, magical girl transformation. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, she looks so gay! <laughs> He still look good as fuck, like, oof. The fact that she has her babies with me too! Jesus. I mean, and obviously, you gotta put all the budget in the last episode because, duh. First and last episode, top tier budget. <laughs> Did none of y'all want to go to the castle go to get though to get Fiona? That would have been the smart thing, but no, it's okay.
But something tells me it's going to pop up. At least the princess got the final kill. Nice, good food before going home.
I think is how the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? The Oh, Harley's not gonna like that. Okay, okay, all right. Final thoughts part two. You cannot end the show like this. I mean, okay, yes, this was a big, all ten episodes was a, this show in a nutshell was just something where you just turned your brain off and such. Um, but like I said, there were things that I disliked about this show. That was all in part one um, and such. But you are telling me from the time that Huntress caught Harley and they were all thrown into the other world the next time that we technically saw Huntress was Joker okay here, here, here's the big thing I need backstory on that there there needs to be like an extra episode or an OVA or maybe potentially a second season something because I get it once again we talked about this and I even said it on, um, with episode nine, I was like, 10 episodes is not enough to establish a beginning, middle and end with this. It kind of establishes it, but at the same time, it still leaves you wanting more. So I can kind of see with studio and Warner Brothers possibly doing a deal where it's like, okay, let's potentially get this a second season and such, because of course, Harley has to find him. Even though she's over here like, yeah, Puddin, I'll be home soon. She don't know that Puddin is there with her. Just somewhere else. Excuse me? Sir? I, I, I am flabbergasted on how this ended. I mean, final battle-wise, this was good. It really didn't give a fuck about the CGI anymore because, like I said, we talked about that in part one for last week's episode and such. But how it was escalated. Every god, everybody got a magical girl transformation. That was good. Very pretty. Love the way that was escalated and such. But it just leaves on a big ass cliffhanger. And we might never ever see anything for this. So now it's just like, you know, sky's the limit. <laughs> you gotta do your own critical thinking and all. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the fan fiction comes to like a million. Where I, I can imagine people actually finishing this on when what not Wednesday Thursday finishing this Thursday and being like, so that's it, huh? We're not getting anything else because I don't think anything else is really um announced for this precisely. But I will say everybody who was cast. I don't know every freaking say you in this, but the ones who I know and the ones who I didn't know, everybody really stood out. I really loved that. I think the girl who played Harley, she did a damn good job. Um especially with what she was given because I'm guessing what every what I'm guessing both maybe Warner Studio and <laughs> Warner Brothers Studio, Warner Brothers Japan and Warner Brothers America probably was like go watch these. Watch the first two Suicide Squad movies. Watch the Harley Quinn show. And, like, make her your own and such. Essentially with all these characters. Because of the fact is, once again, it is homework doing your research and trying to immerse yourself into that character. Getting the psychologically of that character. Becoming one with that character. And like I said, she did a damn good job. I still love, the, I, I still have a love-hate relationship on the fact that she is the vital role. But because she's my girl, I, I got, it's an automatic 10 for me. But if like potentially if we got like what another 10 episodes to focus on Peacemaker, 
um, Deadshot, Nana himself, um, psh, I could say Rick Flag, and then freaking Clayface. That would be nice. That would be really interesting, but something tells me we're not going to get it. Yes, the hype for this was up here, and I feel like probably by this last episode, it just died. Or maybe by the time when we got to, like, a certain episode, everyone was like, yeah, I'm just done with this. I'm just gonna sit here and just watch to watch it. Just to see how this ended. Because honestly, that would that's what it was for me. But it, it ended on a really good note. I will say that. It just still leaves you wanting more. I, I mean, didn't think that that would have happened. I was not expecting that to happen. So, once again, if you do get a second season down the line, it could be like five, do I want to say five years? I'll say, I'll say four years down the line. Then, yeah, do it. Because I, I, I need more context on Joker for that shit. Because, excuse me, you can't just do that and make me be freaking satisfied. But, no, everybody did just, once again, a damn good job. Like, oof. Props to everybody on this damn show, because goddamn. But, I, I mean, I still can't even believe that this is the same freaking studio that is doing no Kotan. I, I mean, because, like, when I found out a couple of days ago, thanks to Gigic, thank God, I, I was like, what? Because that took me out. Because I wasn't expecting with studio to do this, but like I said, as we talked about in the previous episode, there were homages. And then you could settle hints where you could tell it was with Studio doing this. But when you look at this and no time, that's completely two different shows. And I'm like, how is that the same studio as this? <laughs> Which just takes me out. But so I loved it. This was, I will say, a, this was a adaptation. I, I don't think it was the best. Like I said, I've seen, um... I've seen other original ideas. For an original idea, it was still good. But I think what they need to do, especially if they want it to possibly continue on and do more world building on it and make it even more popular, take a step back. Um, have a conversation with us and see and look at everything. Look at the the pros and the cons. Look at the backstory, or not the backstory, the backlash that this show got, because I'm guessing, I'm guessing it kind of possibly did. I'm not 100% sure. Um, <laughs> look at every little thing that your audience talked about. So the good, the bad, and everything else in between. So something tells me they're probably looking at one of my videos. Hi, how you doing? Um, to say, okay, these are the things people loved. These are the things people disliked. And this is maybe everything in between that they kind of have, like, they're not sure about and such. And just the things that we didn't like, just know that we don't want you to go in that same direction again. I don't know, um, maybe a couple of other things with this show. Like I said, would love to be a fly on that wall to see how the partnership got escalated to everything else to the final day of doing this production for this show. I would love to see that. That would be, y'all could put that H on HBO Max. I, I would literally sit and watch it. If it was a seven hour production thing. Uh, Movie-wise, I'd watch it <laughs> just to know everything and be like, okay, what this happened to this and such. But yeah, I, I would think that would be a really interesting idea. But potentially if it doesn't have a second season or just like another 10 episodes or whatever, I I'm okay with it ending like this at the same time, probably in a couple of weeks from now. I will literally be sitting here and be like, I don't like the fact that they ended it like that. Because I know myself. I'm going to be okay with this now. And then down the road, I'm going to be like, we're never seeing anything for this. Because watch. Just watch. How I might even look to see if something came off like on Thursday for it. But probably not. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards the entirety of Suicide Squad Isekai. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all, well, of course, next week for the continuation of summer anime and then probably anything else in general you know of course dr stone because your girl wants to finish the hell out of that show because we're only really like halfway not even halfway through the first half of season three <laughs> but yeah until then i will see you guys all next time bye